What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Jermaine Franklin and Dillian, the body snatcher white. Jermaine Franklin promises a knockout win over Dillian White. It's been nearly two years since Jermaine Franklin was last seen in the ring, still despite his inactivity with when the Michigan native returns, he insists that he doesn't want a soft touch. Over the past few months, both Franklin and his team have gone back and forth with the representatives of heavyweight contender Dillian White. Eddie Hearn, White's longtime promoter, has viewed Franklin as a possible candidate for White, which is now 28-2-19, and as he eyes a ring return in late October. But while Hearn and White have yet to name Franklin as the next opponent, Franklin cl claims that the snail-like pace of their negotiations is necessary. And this is what he said, quote, Why drag this out for so long not to make it happen, said Franklin. He says, I want the fight. I signed the bout agreement on my end. They brought my name up first. I was like, yes, let's do this. I want to show the world I'm the best. Before inactivity struck, Franklin was 20-0 and in 13 KOs, consistently walked through the ropes, Regularly in 2019, in particular, he was considerably act active on the year. The undefeated contender record three victories against Rydell Booker, Jerry Forrest, and Pavel Sauer. A showdown against White, however, could rep would represent a massive leap in competition. The highly ranked heavyweight contender avenged a 2020 knockout loss to the hands of Alexander Povetkin. As we know, the British native has continued his march up to the heavyweight ladder and has made headlines pertaining to the shots against Tyson Fury or Anthony Joshua. Hmm. Let me counterpunch, guys. Um, Jermaine uh, Franklin now. It's uh, I can understand his frustration because that's like... That's like an Andy Ruiz moment for him, okay, in a sense, on a lower scale. Not too much lower, but a lower scale. He's undefeated. He's never tasted defeat, um, but he has been out of the ring two years. And it makes me think really what Ed Eddie Hearn was really looking at when he talked about Jermaine Franklin. Because Jermaine Franklin, when you pull the rabbit out of the hat, the rabbit's still out of the hat, and the rabbit don't want to go back in the hat. And Jermaine Franklin doesn't want to go back into the hat. But it seems to me that Jermaine Franklin was a perfect detour, a de decoy fighter that they could throw at Dillian White just to bring him to the States. He's undefeated, 20-0, 13 KOs, but he hasn't really fought anyone. So, you know, s someone like Dillian White could dispose of him very easily. But most importantly, safely, okay? Jermaine Franklin really doesn't have a worry in the world. Nobody really knows who he is until now. Now, you can understand the anxiousness from a guy like Franklin. Because Franklin's like, hey, you guys called me out. I didn't call you out. So why are you fucking with me? That's what I'm getting for Jermaine Franklin. And I mean, you can't blame the guy. Because, you know, you don't get an opportunity like this all the time. And now you're t now we've been you've been dicking around with me for so long. Now, all of a sudden you want to go back home, you know, and not come over here and fight me. But then I'm still a possibility. <clears throat> and I can so relate that's in my in my field. Primarily, if you go out for a part, then you get a call back. Then you're looking at it like, OK, what next? You know what I mean? I'm available. Give me the work. Give me the job. Give me the opportunity. But then again, it may go to someone else. So you, you do question what the hell you called me for in the first place. So I definitely understand Jermaine Franklin. However, again, reading over Jermaine Franklin's resume of the first of all, the inactivity, that's a one it's two, the opposition. OK, so either one, all those look bad. OK, they have bad written all over it, but it's written good for Dillian White. Now, I think what it is with. The reason why he may not get picked now is because Dillian White has decided to fight home and the British fans don't want to see that shit. They don't want to see Jerry Forrest. I mean, Jerry Franklin. They don't want to see him. They don't know who he is. You know what I mean? And he, he will be looked 
He will be frowned upon for picking an opponent like that after building a reputation for the type of opponents that he's accustomed to fighting. Guys like Oscar Rivas. Who wanted to fight Rivas? Nobody. Okay. You know, so, but Jermaine Franklin promises a knockout. He's up for it. You know, and I feel I feel sorry for the guy because at the end of the day, you know, he didn't ask them to call call his name out. He wasn't begging like Andy Ruiz, please, God, Eddie, please. He wasn't doing that. He was just a guy that they picked because he had a decent, he had a good record, and he was undefeated. Okay? And then, of course, I think the inactivity had a lot to do with it, too, because he hasn't fought in two years. That makes him that much rustier. Now, don't it? But then to be then again, to be fair, we we were and still going through a pandemic. So a lot of people didn't fight last year, just to be fair. And that's including, you know, the rest of the year for Fury, the rest of the year for Wilder. You know, a lot of fighters did not fight at all. So um, but again, Jermaine Franklin, he's trying to uh, milk this and I don't blame him. He should milk it, you know, because I mean, it's almost, you know, I. You know, you're going to come over here and, and that wouldn't have been an impressive fight. But you have to look through the POV of Jermaine Franklin. OK, because, again, he wants his opportunity because you guys are called him. You guys have been playing with him. And us as boxing fans should get tired of fights that think it's going to happen and don't happen. The only difference is this is really a fight we didn't want to see. But Jermaine Franklin surely hell wanted to be in that fight. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Jermaine Franklin promising to knock out Dillian White. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.